if women would hold themselves to the standards that men hold women it would not be so difficult for us to leave if you if a man does something to you that if you did it to him he would leave then that's what the hell you should do when he does it to you What I have learned with men, and I'm sure this goes with women as well. Look at this little doggy with these glasses on. When you let them feel or make them feel like there is a price to pay other than losing you, you have more of a chance of them repeating the behaviors because they're like, okay, I just got to get her something really nice. So she has a slew of Birkin bags, but she's in that house by herself sad because a man is out doing all the things that she doesn't that nobody wants that man to do. So it's just one of those things where it's like people like to glorify these relationships because they see the man doing doing nice things for the woman and stuff like that but it's like you have to understand that it's not always coming from a place of that rice is like doing something to me i'm just messing with my triphobia uh is it called triphobia tryptophobia whatever it is but it's too much it's too much um i just kind of feel like you have to understand that those nice things sometimes they are coming from a genuine place but a lot of times they're coming from a place of i'm trying to make things better so yeah it looks real cute because she got a bunch of birkin bags and things like that but what she wants is a faithful husband so it's like she can get her own birkin bags she wants him to be faithful to her and stop embarrassing her i don't think men cheat to embarrass i don't think anybody cheats to necessarily embarrass the other person it depends on the type of person it is and why they're cheating but when it's just for self-pleasure i don't believe that they do it to embarrass the other person it's a very selfish act and that's it i don't think they think about what it's gonna do to the other person and so one of the some guy um made like a post and he was like you cheated on cardi b for this girl and i banged her uh at my mama house on an air mattress and that's who you cheated on cardi with yeah yeah because a lot of men not all but a lot of men they they do not care about your accolades or your financial status these fish look so stinking pretty the majority of men are raised to be providers so they are not interested in necessarily your financial status they're not interested in any of that they're interested in what they want what they are desiring from you so in this instance it would be sex look at how nice this look this is what i'm saying when i said like everything's kind of like has that like futuristic look to it and so it's like okay she doesn't have to have she doesn't have to have standards or morals she doesn't have to be somebody who wouldn't sleep with somebody on the air mattress she just needs to be somebody that he would want to sleep with and whoever he cheated with she was so i feel like for a man to say something like that understanding that a lot of men don't care about things like that i feel like that was kind of like hmm you know are you a different kind of man or are you you know the same kind of man but you just really felt some type of way about this situation because i'm like the average man doesn't care about what you have going on if they find you sexually attractive that's what they are focusing on they're not like oh i thought you were part of a fortune 500 my apologies i don't want to sleep with you anymore no they probably feel like the less you have the better their chances are of you shutting up about it just so that you can you know stay in the loop with things that's going on but that doesn't that's not always the case that's not always how things work out so what she was willing to do to somebody or with somebody when they were sleeping on an air mattress that doesn't do anything for the average man they're like okay so and then i slept with her in a three thousand dollar a night hotel what's it to you 
what's it to you I, I got what I wanted which was her I'm not interested in what she did in her past because she's not somebody that's going to be in my future she's the very she's present she's just a nice little toy to play with right now and so you want the man to be mindful of the fact that this is what you're risking by cheating but if the man feels like this is just my opinion again if the man feels like regardless of what he does he can still um mend the relationship then he's gonna do what he want to do and mend the relationship that's it that's all that cherry looks super nice and so i just feel like that's what he's doing has she maybe left the first time before any of the kids and she left at that first infidelity then yeah you know i do believe that things might have been different because then it would have been clear boundaries as to the type of woman that she was and what she was willing to um deal with a lot of women deal with men cheating cheating y'all not y'all don't want to hear this but when it comes to men um unless you get you a unicorn which is possible but i mean it's a unicorn men are gonna cheat they're gonna cheat if, if you want you a, a man that's not gonna cheat you need to get him like 65 and up and you're still running a risk you're still running a risk so i don't know really what to say to women it's like if you want a man that's not gonna cheat then you probably should be um single for a while because the average man the average man is going to cheat it is in their nature i'm a firm believer men and women are very different we are two different types of people i really wish women would understand that they are not wired like us in the least in the least the average woman cannot sleep with someone that they don't have feelings for the average man can because many women don't engage in sex without some sort of attraction and or emotion towards the person they are sleeping with it makes it extremely difficult for women to understand and believe a man can but many men absolutely and effortlessly can and do. So this is why men will sleep with women and they're just like, oh, it was just sex. And women are like, it's not just, it, but it is for them. It is for them. Not all, but for many it is. And so I feel like if you're going to be with a young man who is a millionaire, you, you have to know that the women are going to be looking for him seeking him out hoping that they can find him on an off chance and they end up getting pregnant by him so that they can get that nice little child support these women are not being with him because they think he has such great character no more than he's being with them because he thinks that they're really good catches no it's a physical exchange and i feel like women put too much stock in wanting a man to be faithful they put too much stock in that i feel like you're either gonna deal with the cheating or you're not me i ain't really for it i'm not really for it um it's not my cup of tea um i understand why women stay i also understand why they leave and so i'm not telling you that i would sit and deal with it but what i am telling you is that i understand that if you're going to date a man there is there is a very good chance especially if you've been with him for a long time that that's something that will come into play the difference between myself and a lot of women is that for me if you cheat on me and I stay, yeah, um, we're, it's it's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad for both of us because we're gonna we're gonna have to be in an open relationship at that point. And if I don't want an open relationship, we're just gonna have to break up. But uh, Cardi B made a statement and she was like, "I married a man and I ain't never slept with nobody. I ain't never slept around on my bed when I was married. You shouldn't have." You did what you were supposed to do as a wife. He didn't do what he was supposed to do at a husband, as a husband. So why are you still being loyal to that part of you? If you want to stay loyal to a man who is cheating on you, then you go right ahead and do it. I'm not built like that. I'm either going to leave or I'm going to cheat back. I'm going to keep it a thousand. I'm going to keep it a thousand. And if you think... That your cheating was something. Where do you get a load of me? 
I'm not, I, I'm just, I'm not built like that. No, I'm not one of those women that are like, you know, and I just feel, no. You you want me to stay, I have to get my lick back. Because you're, I'm not going to stay in it and feel even more of a fool that I'm sitting around being faithful to somebody that couldn't even hold themselves to the same standard. I believe, but this is the reason why I leave. Because I know how how vicious things can get but this is why i truly believe if women would hold themselves to the standards that men hold women it would not be so difficult for us to leave if you if a man does something to you that if you did it to him he would leave then that's what the hell you should do when he does it to you average man if you cheat on the average man he'll leave and you're dead to him you'll never hear from him again that will be the end of it to the end of time so why are you staying when he cheats why are you doing that why are you showing him grace in situations where he would never even think twice to show you grace sure there are men that stay with women who cheat on them but i guarantee you when that is happening it's because probably the man has cheated already now, there are times that, well, men will stay with women who have cheated, and that's just it. They're not the norm. They are not the norm. They are very much so the needles in the haystack. They are definitely not the norm. So I just feel like women want to show men how faithful they can be, and they live under the premise of, Oh, you know, he just has to realize that he's really ruining things by not being faithful. And if I just continue to be this type of person, then he'll, he'll eventually see that he needs to just act right because he has a good woman. He sees it. I promise you he sees it and he knows a fool when he sees one. To continue to let somebody run over you under the premise of one day he's going to realize that he is messing up when you look up and you have wasted a large portion of your life still waiting for that person to see the person who you have been showing them from the beginning you are going to be so upset with yourself if a man would not tolerate it from you why are you tolerating it from them it is because, in my opinion, you feel like that is part of dating a man. And in essence, a lot of times it is. You're either going to stay and deal with it, you're going to get your leg back, or you're going to leave. That's it. It's not a whole lot, a whole lot of in between. That's really pretty much how things are going to go. And so I just really feel like I hope everything works out for them. But three kids, one in damn pampers still you ain't going nowhere you're not going anywhere and i don't think he wants to i think he just he's a cheater i don't think he's doing this so that she leaves him i think he's just doing it to do it because he can because he has the the pick of the litter because he's offset nothing more nothing less i don't feel like it's coming from any type of space of i don't want to be with my wife i don't think so so you guys, this is Mariah Melody. The landmark for this place will be in the description box below. So make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.